When you live in a cold weather climate and you love driving cars, one of the best times of the year is when it's finally warm enough to pull the convertible out. There's just nothing like celebrating spring with the top down. And when you get to celebrate with a brand new Mazda MX-5 Miata, well, that's a special spring indeed. How does it look? Stunning. Mazda design is on fire right now, and it feels like this Miata might be the team's best work to date. I find it to be a fine balance between originality and elegance, with a mix of flowing curves and sharp edges that is both very Japanese and easy to appreciate. How's the storage? The trunk is actually really very tiny. You can fit about one regular sized suitcase in there, but not a whole lot else besides. So if you're going on a road trip with two people, I'd say pack soft-sided luggage or pack light. The storage situation inside isn't much better. Modular cup holders can be tossed in the center bin, but there's not a lot of room left over. Beyond that, you'll have to make do with a tiny cubby after the shift lever, and that's it. Is it roomy? At six foot five inches, I can just get my knees and elbows situated behind the steering wheel, but the passenger seat is almost too cramped for me to make do. Regular folks will feel more comfortable, but no one would call this minimalist roadster roomy. Of course, you forget about all of that as soon as the top is raised. How does the interior feel? Now every Miata that I've ever been in has had a pretty basic interior, which I think is okay. It sort of goes along with the spirit of the car. And Mazda has done a good job in this generation of raising the overall level of quality inside the interior, though it's still not a luxurious space. I think the steering wheel feels good, the shifter feels really good to use, and overall the car has it where it counts. Is it well equipped? My test car is the club version of the MX-5, meaning it's mostly equipped for the occasional track day. You can tell it's the club from the lip spoiler, but it also includes Bilstein shocks, a tower brace, and a limited slip differential. Brembo brakes and those cool dark finish 18 inch wheels are cost add options. Is it a good daily driver? There are people all over the country that drive their Miatas day in and day out through all four seasons. And I think that it's a completely possible and really fun thing to do. The thing to remember is that even if you're not my size, this is still a small car without a lot of storage. So you're definitely making some concessions by having it as your one and only car. Is it fun to drive? Yeah, almost indescribably so. So there's not a lot of power. The Sky Active 2 liter makes 155 horsepower, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it really is enough to have a good time in a car that is this light. And frankly, the Miata is not about power anyways. It never has been, it's about handling. When you take the car around the corner, you get tons of grip, you get a lot of feedback, and you get a feeling of immediacy that you don't find in almost any other car, even other convertibles and roadsters. So it's kind of instantly satisfying whenever you do anything even remotely dynamic in it, which is honestly what this car is all about. How's the fuel economy? The car is rated at 34 miles per gallon on the highway and 27 in the city. I'm doing slightly worse on both those figures because I like to drive it quickly and shift gears a lot. For a car this light, those numbers aren't great, but for a second car in the garage, do you really care? How much is it? The most basic Miata is about $25,000, and my club version is optioned up to nearly $33,000. Personally, I think the club alone is a good balance between the two. Not only do you get the performance parts I talked about at that price, but it also comes with the Mazda Connect infotainment system and a better nine speaker Bose stereo. What are the negatives? As you've already heard, the most notable negatives are all about practicality or the lack thereof. Even though it's one of the most entertaining cars you can buy, big and tall folks might think that it's too small to live with even as a second car. They're wrong, but they might think that. Who should buy it? Basically, if you have the means, a desire to enjoy your life, and even a shred of a driver's soul, I don't think you'll ever regret buying this Miata. As has been true for decades now, it's simply one of the most joyful cars on the planet. Hey, if you guys like this Why Buy video, you should subscribe to our YouTube channel. Or you can find us on Facebook, find us on Twitter, or go to MotorOne.com.